Okay, I got something a little different for you today. Uh, I'm going to be showing off my Optimus shortwave radio. Um, according to the information I got off of Wikipedia, um, that's what realistic, uh, they changed their name to Optimus. Um, and then from there it pretty much went out of business. Um, as far as I know, this is the only shortwave radio they made. Um, not 100% sure on that, but the have to do some research, but um, basically, um, this was the first shortwave radio I ever got. Um, got back in uh, late 2000, 2001. Um, although this model right here, um, this isn't the same radio because uh, the first one I had I gave to a friend of mine who was interested in shortwave radio, and um, I got this one off of eBay. I want to say about oh two or three years ago, um, paid maybe I don't know eighteen, nineteen, twenty bucks, something like that. It was uh, really cheap, uh, a lot less than what I paid for this brand new. Because I think when I got this brand new, it was about oh fifty five, sixty bucks, something like that. So, but uh, it's a basic shortwave radio. Whoops, bumped the camera. Sorry about that. Um, this is uh, the front of it. Uh, it's got a uh, direct entry keypad. Um, you got your up and down buttons here. That's for your um, for uh, going through the frequencies on. Let's see here if you can see it. The uh, light's a little bright. Still getting a hang of uh, properly lighting these videos. Let me adjust this. Okay. It's got AM, FM, shortwave TV, which obviously no longer works since they went to the digital format, and weather. It's got a uh, switch for DX and local. On the other side, you got volume, and then you got for your tone, and then you got your headphone jack, and obviously this is where you used to, you used to be able to plug it in. Um, whoever owned it last, um, let's get that out of the way. They uh, installed this, so I'm not sure exactly what happened to it. I just run it on the batteries because, you know, one less thing I have to plug in. Um, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it's got the AM and FM buttons. Um, like I'll be showing you in a little bit, if you want to enter in direct frequency, let's say it's on a short wave, if you want to go to um, WWCR, you would. Um, you would put one two one six zero, and then you hit AM, and they would take it directly to that frequency. You also have a a light button that you have to hold down; um, it doesn't stay on. A sleep button and alarm, and there's uh, snooze on the top. So, well, let's first uh, put it on AM and uh, show you what it sounds like. Oops. the store. It's simple. We roll out the double deals. You roll out of advance with more money. Either way, you're This is uh, WBEV 1430 AM out of uh, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Mom, I had the best dream. <laughs> oh, good. And then this, oh shoot, it's not set. Sorry about that. If I had the yeah. presets up. Captured him or why? Diane Foley says her son Jim's been missing in serious since then, late November. This is uh, nothing about his appearance. 620 WTMJ out of Milwaukee. For six weeks in Libya, so why would he return to a war-torn region? He feels got some pretty good sound. So to get um, to the let's go down to FM. This is uh, 941 uh, WJJO uh, Madison. This is 98.7 Great 98 on uh, Mayville. Uh, 1015 WIVA on uh, Madison. It's not coming in that good. That's not coming in at all. WTKM out of Hartford, the Polka Station. <laughs> and, uh, that's FM. Now let's go to shortwave here. Um, shortwave reception on this radio is not spectacular. The antenna is, uh, well, kind of crap. Um, 
you won't be able to hear anything really good in, unless it's a strong station. If it's a weaker station, you gotta, you know, hold on to the antenna here. Um, here, let's put in the frequency. Uh, WBCQ, enter. Yeah, it's, uh, whoops, really weak until I grab the antenna. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks. Let me see if I can find a stronger signal. Let's do a quick little scan. Um, to scan, you hold down either down the up or down button for like a second or so, and then scans until it finds uh, frequency. Um, right now, it's not really finding anything. Um, Okay, here, let me stop this so I could try, um, WWV, oops, there, okay, zero, 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 there we go. Getting a little bit more interference than usual, because it's kind of close to my, uh, computer I got on right now. I'm backing up some files. Let me see if I can find a station here. Everything's coming in so weak. There we go. We got uh, 98.95 which is I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up once I'm done uh, filming this video because if I would uh, go over to the computer, I'd probably bump into the camera. Spanish. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe it's Radio Marty. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I'll post the what station it is in the description. But. Uh, yeah, unless it's a really strong station, um, you know, it doesn't really come in that well. That's why I don't really use this thing that often for uh, shortwave listening. I pretty much just use it now for uh, an alarm clock in the morning to wake me up. Um, let's see if we can pick up anything else. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, this is the uh, this is the weather band. 162.50 out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of light rain. Highs in the mid 40s. I guess I've been so close to the computer, it's uh, picking up more interference than usual. But uh, yeah, this is my uh, Optimus shortwave radio. Um, hope you like it.